Frank Islam, Chairman and CEO of FY Investment Group and your host of Wall Street Calling, where we interview leading voices from business, from politics, that impact you, the viewer. Today, we are fortunate to have a special guest. His name is Dr. Majid. He's a highly successful businessman who started Sabinsa Corporation, a pharmaceutical marketing company in New Jersey, and later semi-labs in Bangalore. After COVID-19 started, his products have been in big demand around the world. He has received many awards, including the Ellis Allen Medal of Honor. So thank you, Dr. Majid, for coming to our show. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I will start out uh, asking you a question with regard to telling our global audience a little about yourself, who you are, your wonderful journey, your story, your struggle, your sacrifice that, that you have encountered in making your company so successful. Just like my journey has not been a straight line. It has its own mm -hmm. twists and turns. But yes. what prevailed me in my journey to believe in America and American dream. So tell us a little yes. bit about yourself. Yeah, I am basically born and brought up in Kerala, south side of India. And uh, in 1975, after my degree in pharmacy, I migrated to US. And uh, there I worked in pharmaceutical companies like Pfizer and Carter Wallace. While I was working, I was also studying for my master's at Long Island University and PhD at St. John's University in New York. I finished all that in 86. I worked until 1988. Then I decided to get into business. I tried my luck because I was at that time interested in uh, generic drugs but I was way ahead of my time. So um, in the first six months itself, my well laid out the business plan, I have to throw it out. Okay. And then I started looking at what best I can do. Then I realized India is very rich in natural resources mm -hmm. and it is not marketed properly in the US. In fact, it was not marketed at all at that time. So I looked into that opportunity. It was an opportunity that was looking for somebody like me because Ayurveda, the ancient system of India has a lot of good medicines and uh, they are not clinically tested or proven to the rest of the world. So therein lied my opportunity. So I started looking at that one. And my first product is a product I licensed from a pharmaceutical company in India called the Google Lipid, What's an excellent part, okay. Google, Google Lipid. Okay. And it was for cholesterol reduction. Okay. And it has all the science that I was looking for, safety, toxicity, clinical efficacy. So even though it is a natural plant material, when you put safety first, Americans look at you. When you say it is clinically effective, they have an interest. And most right. importantly, when you say it is a natural product, they are sold on that idea. Okay. So these were the elements I combined. Okay. First and foremost, it is safe. Second, it is clinically effective. Third and most important, it's a natural product. And that is what laid the foundation for my natural product business. Okay, wonderful. So you're an entrepreneur, you're a businessman. Tell me, is entrepreneurs are made or born? Are both? Actually, it is made. It, it is, is made, made, in my opinion. Okay. You know, there are so many brilliant scientists. They dream about this one. But unless they work at it, unless they believe, risk must be taken. That's the way. Okay. Very well. Said. Otherwise, you will not find, you know, what you are really good at it. So you, you were willing to take the risk? and venture into the new horizon, experiment new environment, and become yes. successful. You know, I, 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 had, I had a similar kind of, uh, uh, what I consider a life journey that I went through when I started the business and I sold it to Ross Perot in, in 2007. But I did okay. not start in 1988, it started in 1990, 
six and sold it in 2007. So it was a good, it was a good, uh, it was good. It was a uh, good, good run. Yeah, uh, it was a good run. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Would you be kind enough to tell the, our audience the yeah. role that your company is playing in meeting the COVID-19 challenge? As I understand your foundation, and tell me a little bit about that, contributed a significant amount of money to combat COVID in India, close to several million dollars. Yeah. And I tell can. me the name of your foundation and what the foundation's focus are. I'll come to that. But first, let me answer you the COVID-19 sure, sure, crisis. Sure. Uh, as soon as it happened, um, you know, it came out as a bolt from, you know, as a surprise for everybody. All of a sudden, the world woke up to a reality. There is an infection that you can get it. And you have to wear a mask. You have to use uh, uh, social distancing and uh, sanitizer use. It came as a total surprise to the whole world. And one of the products that I have been marketing for years, curcumin, that is taken from turmeric. Turmeric? In 20, yeah. In 2020, May, me along with a few other scientists across the globe published a paper. If you take curcumin, you will be more or less safe. Very good. Then at the same time, we did a study on selenium in India, the level of selenium in South India specifically. We found the selenium level in India is low among the Indians. And uh, if your selenium level is low, you could easily get COVID-19. And, uh, you know, I have about 1,500 people in India. So That's one of the things... A lot of people. One of the things I did was I put together a combination of herbal extracts and minerals okay. into a formulation called it Immuactive. And I asked all my people, take these capsules once or twice every day. It contained the curcumin. It contains uh, a herbal item called Andrographis paniculata. Okay. Zinc, selenium, and my classical material for increasing the wire availability, bioperin. So it is an antiviral formulation that we made given to all of our products. We have, among the 1,500 people, we have extremely few incidents of COVID and no casualties or no fatalities among our people. Wonderful. Yeah. Now, you live in America, so tell, tell us a little bit uh, to the people over here uh, in our audience, share your experience your experience, how the American ingenuity, experience, innovation, help you to make your company a leader? And also tell us a little bit about uh, shine a bright light and where your main markets are. And do you believe that the American experience living in America made you who you are today in terms of your success? Actually, <clears throat> I tell, a lot of my people send a boy to America and get a man back. Oh, that's a good yeah. way to put it. Very well. <laughs> yes. So when I landed in the U.S., I was naive, but I had one advantage. I could speak. I could stand up and speak English with no hesitation. Right. So I learned a lot. Studying at the same time working. Nowhere else in the world you can do that. Correct. Only in America, okay? And uh, in my case, Pfizer picked up my tuition bill also. Okay, that was an added plus. That they paid, they paid you for education? Yes. And uh, the experience I had in the United States was amazing. Amazing. Like I said, they made a man out of magic. <laughs> and I learned a bit, quite a bit. Yes. You know, I had... Uh, I had worked for some of the great people in the pharmaceutical industry who worked for Pfizer and Carter Wallace. Mm -hmm. And every day was a day I learned things. I really look at that way every day. From a scientific point of view, from a personal point of view, I grew, okay? Even when I made the decision to go into business and when 
most of my friends advised me against that one. My, my own mind told me, you must take this chance. If you don't take this chance, you would never know whether you are good at that. Right. Now, that is the American spirit. In that the is the America's ingenuity. This is America's creativity. Exactly. This is who the America are. And that's what made America a shining city upon the hill. As John Winston said in 1636 on a ship, Aravala. So this yeah. is who we are as an America. Wonderful. Yes. Yes. I want to talk a little bit about, uh, uh, you have diversified into marketing Indian spices. Yes. Please tell us the medical and nutritional benefits associated with Indian spices. I want you to talk about the health benefits of Clove, cinnamon, cumin, cardamom, nutmeg, turmeric, and also black peppers and ginger. Those are okay. the. And my you, wife's asked you to ask you about turmeric because uh, she takes the turmeric and she's an American woman, but she believes in, in the spicy. So tell us a little bit, shed some light on these things. Let's start with uh, turmeric. Turmeric, wow. Turmeric contains. Curcuminoids. It is not one curcumin, it has three components in that one. These curcuminoids are very powerful and inflammatory agents. You see, every disease has its origin in inflammation. If you can manage inflammation, you can manage a lot of diseases. If you can manage inflammation, you live longer, healthier. So your wife is doing the right thing. She's taking the right product. Right. So I had the original patent on curcumin in the US, which was never contested by anybody. Then let me take you to black pepper also. It's an amazing product. Yes. See, Frank, you are taking vitamin C for assuming. Mm -hmm. You are taking vitamin C. You think you are getting 100 milligram vitamin C when you pop a 100 milligram tablets into your mouth. In fact, you are getting about 20 milligram vitamin C absorbed. But if you take it with a little bit of black pepper extract called biopirin or piperin, instead of 20 milligram absorption, you will get about 70 to 80 milligram absorbed in your body. Wow. Now, a little bit of this black pepper extract makes that difference. That was also patented by me because that's a new idea which I proved in clinical trials in New, Jersey, in New York. Uh, I think I did the studies in Mercy Medical Center in New York. Okay. So there is curcumin, there is black pepper. Same with the ginger, very powerful and inflammatory. Okay. In fact, if you look at general reviews, both curcumin and uh, black pepper extract is all is used with the trade name by bi biopirin. Uh, ginger is also used as an anti-inflammatory agent mm -hmm. by many people, okay? I'm not going into many of these items. Before, okay. before I introduced uh, turmeric, curcumin, as an antioxidant phytonutrient, it was used by Americans for cheese coloring. Yes. So I brought in a paradigm shift saying that this is, you can eat as a tablet and it is good for you. And that's what she does, my wife does. Yes, and I wrote the first book in 1993, second book in 2015, a third book in 2018. The third and the last book talks about what happens to curcuminoids in the body. You know, when you take the yellow turmeric, it becomes white in your body. It's an amazing thing what happens to you. And so, the, so, so what you're saying, there are a lot of benefits associated with the taking Indian spices in terms yes. of healing, in terms of uh, many, uh, you, you mentioned also the, I think one of the cancer, you can also get rid of that because of taking the turmeric also. Um, so Mostly, uh, it's a wonderful, believe... and now we have to make sure that people in the Western country realize and understand the potential of the Indian spices and how, tastes good and also is good for your health. 
absolutely and i think the western world now understands it yes they do uh, yeah what uh, i have been selling in small quantities now i sell in 500 tons 600 tons quantities but and remember today, columbus went, wanted to go to india to get the spices yes but he ended yeah. up in caribbean and north america <laughs> so and the, I, i believe the uh, the Portuguese were there before the British, before the Dutch were there, and and yes. English there in India yes. because they were in the Goa, yes. I believe. And, yeah. And you probably know the potatoes came from Peru, and the and the Spaniards brought that to to all over, uh, you know, Europe and Asia. Right? Yes. Yes. I know your company has a, and you mentioned that you know during our conversation. many many scientists who's conducting research in united states and how do you get those pools of the people who have the skills abilities experience and expertise and where do you get them from you know india all said and done is a highly educated place a lot of these indians go to us europe and other places and get skilled in their respective areas so i collected a lot of these people who have good experience in the us europe and i put them together in fact i started my r and d center in princeton princeton new jersey yeah, yeah. not and too far from my house i yeah. live watch in dc <laughs> yeah then i realized that i could employ more people in india and get lot more done in india okay at a much better price so i i consolidated my rnd base in india because a lot of good educated people are available here in india you what know, kind of skills do you need and i want you to connect you with the people from aligarh muslim university so you can hire them what kind of a people you looking for a doctor i look for uh, people with uh, good or excellent phytochemistry experience people with a good microbiology background microbiology biology people with excellent uh, synthetic chemistry background Okay, uh, and I would love to you to connect with some of the people, the vice chancellor of the AMU, when you send the email, so that uh, hire some of those people who are very bright and they're looking for opportunity to serve and work with will you. Be my, will be my pleasure. Will so, be my uh, pleasure. So we will we will connect. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, talk a little bit about the uh, Dr. Majid, the uh, um, the growth. and the development in coming years and of the uh, in the decades as a matter of fact of the evidence based natural product that that's what you are good and this yeah. is what you have done that's what you're doing do you think yes. there's a market there there's a growth there and and people are going to buy this thing and you're going to make your company absolutely. bigger and brighter and better <laughs> absolutely i always think we just touch uh, the tip of the iceberg because there are a lot more natural products that are very useful that are still not um research like we do and they are all that work is going on in the background i'm sure you noted and you asked a question about my patents 292 292 and, international patent patent yes, and yes. this is a this is a phenomenal achievement tell us a uh, Now, uh, during this conversation, you need to shed some light on this, also on the patents. Yes, because today in this modern world, unless you can patent, you will perish. Okay, because your competition will come in and sell it at a very cheap price. It is not only the two hundred and ninety-two. I have three hundred in the pipeline. It's wow. still pending. Yeah, pending, and. Uh, all the 120 scientists i have we are still working on innovative ideas it is not only on natural products we are working on innovative ideas in probiotics that's using microbiology fermentation technology okay and we are very strong in synthetic chemistry okay synthetic yeah. chemistry okay yes wonderful Remember, i was talking to you about the role of selenium right you know your body has 98.75 microgram of selenium in the body microgram per liter in the body you will never get covid 
that data has been published. And I did a study here showing in South India, people with the low levels of selenium get COVID faster. So it, it's coming out. Some of these products have a role to play. It does have a role to play. I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. Well, I want to express my deep gratitude for your leadership, for, the, for making a meaningful and profound difference in people's life and their health. I thank, thank you. you for coming to our show. This is Frank Islam wishing you a great week. Thank you.